Hello and welcome to Usabit. My name is Akshay, I am the creator of Usabit and today I'm your guide. In the next few videos, I'll go over the high level features of the platform so you can get the most out of it. When you first click on a Usabit project, you land on the overview section. Here you can quickly see who this project has been shared with, the various research modules that are enabled within the project, and a timeline of recent activities of your team. On the left hand side, we can see the project sidebar. The sidebar is divided into three sections. The data section is all about collecting and organizing your research data. In the people tab, you can manage your participants and stakeholders. The interview module allows you to manage your interview questions and collect responses. Notes and media sections allow you to store your unstructured notes, observations, media files, and any research related file. You can even upload and parse large surveys using the survey module. The synthesis section has the tools you need to extract meaning out of your data. Here you can manage your text analysis tags. The highlight section lets you see all your tagged content in one place. You can also view automatically generated analytics based on your tagged data. And best of all, you can capture your findings from anywhere in the platform into shareable insights. And finally, to complete the workflow, the tools section contains UX specific modules that help you capture and deliver insights from your research in a cohesive manner. You can create personas, journey maps, or even visual sitemaps with a few clicks. In the next videos, we'll go over these modules in more detail. I recommend that you go over each one of them to begin with. But feel free to jump to any topic that you want to learn more about. See you next time!